Hello is the founder and CEO of Andromeda Robotics, Grace Brown, and her mate, Abby the Robot. Hi! I hope you like dogs as well and you've met Harry and I'm looking at he's looking across at us like, guys, I'm still here. Grace, welcome. You are amazing. At just 25, you're the inventor of a robot. Tell us how that happened. Yeah, well, um, I guess I've always really enjoyed maths and science and then I started learning how to write code in high school and then I think it just kind of snowballed and transitioned from there. So I studied mechatronics engineering, which is, you know, kind of took, gave me the skills to get started, really. Abby, tell us, how does this work? I mean, it's pretty impressive. I'm Grace. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Grace, Abby, you're all one in my Yeah, it's not the first time it's happened. Oh, there you go. Woo, woo. So, Grace, how does Abby work? So, Abby, she's a, she's a humanoid robot, as you can tell. So, she's, she's saying hi to you all. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, so, you know, she's like, we, I modelled her off like the size of like a young child. I think the thing that's really different about Abby to most robots you'll see in market is that we've built her with a personality. So when you talk to her, which you'll get to meet her in a second, she's, you know, very curious, very inquisitive, a little bit sassy. Oh. And so, um, you know, people don't really expect... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like it. She's yeah. So can you tell yeah. us about the work that she does? Yeah, so she goes into like um, aged care homes and children's hospitals and we like to say she's your best friend right out of the oh. box. So she like interacts interacts with them, dances with them, plays games, oh, wow. um, but most importantly, people uh, people build a relationship with her. Wow. And, yeah. How did that idea come about? Um, so I I took my undergraduate degree during the COVID-19 pandemic and I was living on campus at the time and as you know, Melbourne had insanely restrictive lockdowns so I was spent about four or five months by myself in a student accommodation. My family's up in Brisbane so the borders were shut and so I just started tinkering and started building Abby as a friend to keep me company. Wow, so <laughs> something really good, hey, I've something got really dogs, good came no, out of okay. the lockdown. Yeah, yeah, I think my friends what? were all saying they were making wow. bread but I was yes. doing Abby. Yeah. 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 Wow, <laughs> A little bit better. <laughs> yeah. I guess also too, how do you feel that the elderly take to maybe like a, a robot or something like that because they're probably mm. not used to something. Like... Exactly. Every time before we come into a home there's always a bit of apprehension like science fiction has painted this really kind yeah. of drastic and mm. scary uh, idea of what <laughs> what humanoid robots are but I mean when once Abby's in the home mm. like we have residents now who if you call Abby a robot they'll get defensive and no that's not a robot that's Abby and yeah. they don't see a robot they don't see technology <laughs> um, they just <laughs> Abby! Yeah. What about tricks? What sort of tricks can it do? Um, tricks? It? I, don't, I mean, you could... She. Oh, sorry. She. 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 Excuse Abby. me, Abby, oh Abby, God. I'm sorry. I'm like one of those elderly, I'm sorry. Abby. You just got a side-eye from a robot. Yeah. <laughs> Ask her. Get ready to witness the bubble extravaganza, because what? I'm here to outshine the ordinary. What? Come on then, Abby. Show us What's what you're about. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Like, feel like her mum? Like, does she feel like your child? Um, in a lot of ways, yeah. I'd say, I think me and my whole team feel like she's like our, our, our child in a way. We've got yeah. an, another model coming out called uh, Gabby, uh, abbreviation for Genesis Abby, oh. and that Abby is about uh, about 15, 20% bigger. And we're looking at her in the warehouse, and where it's all bittersweet because we're like, yeah. she's growing up. Uh, yeah. Is Sorry. she your favourite? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll always be the favourite, right. Abby. Yeah. Yeah. Can you yeah. actually? customise Abby to what users might need? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, everyone, We I realised early on there's not going to be a one-size-fits-all approach. And so, um, you know, every person who interacts with Abby, she, she, she's tailored slightly differently. So she speaks 90 different languages. <gasps> oh, and oh, so, um, what about Norwegian? Of people, I mean, you could ask her. I don't know how well she'd be on the no, spot. No, but... I'm just, I'm very much uh, after a bit of a trip. So I'm trying to learn. <laughs> Norwegian, but... Abby, <laughs> sprechen die Deutsch? Oh, sorry? She's thinking. Oh, wow. Wow. Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Cool. Willkommen bei The House of Wellness. Shane hat fast seinen Kaffee verschluckt. Oh my gosh, Sag mal, was würdest du auf Deutsch gern hören? I have no idea what Yes, she I said that know. Shane's smelly. <laughs> 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 but she really loves being on the House of Wellness, except for Shane. Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Now, Mel asked a really good question about customising, mm. but I'm trying to dissect that question because I reckon you're asking, will it do the housework for yeah. me? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Can you 
<laughs> she do stuff, fold the laundry. Um, that's where the industry is going. So in, I'd say within a decade you'll see different types of robotic technology integrated in, in, in wow. various sorts of activities like that. We're focusing on being world class at the uh, personality and social interaction mm -hmm. and providing a really mm -hmm. good user experience. But like I have lots of friends who are building in that space and yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, Abby, oh. would you mind helping me around the house? <laughs> oh, that's just, oh, excuse me, Abby, well, Abby, I'm no. just asking for a friend and the audience. The Tats Lotto numbers this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. oh, oh, your friend's got big dreams. Love it. The winning lotto numbers are 7, 13, 22, 31, 44, and 55. <laughs> if you win, I expect a gold plated bubble machine as my commission. <laughs> Okay. Thank um, you, Abby. She won the Tets Lotto. <laughs> uh, Grace, mm. so she's in aged care facilities. What, yeah. what kind of feedback are you getting from the residents? Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's really positive because in, in aged care, people don't realise it, but like four out of ten people never receive visitors from like friends or family ever. So day after day, they're spending time alone in their rooms um, just by themselves. Whereas with Abby, you know, we don't force anyone to interact with her, but what she can do is she can replace some of that loneliness or some of that isolation that they would have with like an interaction or an activity or something where they'd otherwise be alone. So we get a lot of people who say, like, who come up to me and tell me that the work I'm doing is quite terrible. Yeah. You know, we're replacing human care yeah. and human connection. And I think that would be terrible, but it's that's not what we're doing. No. We're filling a void. Well, so. that's it. It's not there. Yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> I'm guessing Abby would be in high demand too. I mean, how many are in the works right now? Um, quite a few, quite a few. So, yeah, we've got a pretty long wait list yeah. at the moment. So You're wow. just amazing. You're an amazing yes. human. Thank yeah, you for doing something like this. Yeah. And, Abby, you're wonderful too. <laughs>